Hey, make sure you check out blooper number one here from the Ultimate Outdoors Radio Show. We love bloopers. Terry and Miss Mary's on the camera with Ultimate Outdoors Radio. We are continuing our adventure down here in Florida. If you've been following our videos, we uh, we launched into Fort Myers, spent a couple uh, nights there on the beach, and we headed over to Pine Island. Pine Island is a unique island. Uh, probably, I, I'm guessing it's about 15 miles long, and you basically have to come across the bridge to get into it. And we have been uh, Hold up at Tarpon Lodge, a fantastic place that's owned by the Wells family, but also we ventured by boat, which is a cool opportunity, to the other property owned by the Wells family, and that is Cabbage Key. And joining me today on Ultimate Outdoors Radio, Ken Wells. Ken, thanks for, I believe it's been a couple of years since we visit with you and talked, yeah, about, uh, talked about this, but this is this whole uh, system here is unique because it is, it is just the fishing is, besides the boating, the fishing is just mangroves and endless species of fish. We are actually chasing tarpon the last couple of days. Some of the folks at Tarpon Lodge have really got into the tarpon. They're on the move. We had a little bit of dirty water, so they moved offshore, but uh, we're going to go chase them again tomorrow morning, maybe chase some reds. But, Ken, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, you know, the Wells family owns Tarpon Lodge and Cabbage Key, but... You, you have a unique venue here because people get to come by boat. And, you know, I'm just watching. You've got an endless stream of people coming for lunch. So tell us a little bit about Cabbage Key, how long you owned it. I, and uh, you kind of oversee the operations here, correct? Yes, I do. Uh, my family came in 1976. Uh, everybody kind of thought my dad was crazy. He was in <laughs> North Carolina, and he told all his friends, I'm going to go and buy an island in, in Florida. And they said, well, what are you going to do that for? And I said, I don't know, but it's worked out really good for us as a family. We've been here ever since, so we've you know, over 40 years now. And um, but the island didn't start with us; it, it's been around before us. Um, it started uh, in the late 30s when the Reinhards came and built this as their winter state home to get away from the cold New York winters. And uh, the Stoltz came in 1944 and got the property from them, opened it to the public, and it's been open to the public as a lodge ever since, ever since 1944. You know what's unique about this whole area, Ken, I, and I don't know if this is true, but folks over at Tarpon Lodge said you used to go to school by boat, is that true? I did, I, I kind of reversed <laughs> things. I used to live on the island and, and take the boat. I was in a, doing that in middle school. I would drive myself in a little 15 foot whaler over and go to school. And then I got older and got married, had kids, and now I live on the mainland and I I take the boat out here, so I go now in the boat to get to work. So it's kind of flip flop. So uh, Ken, tell us a little bit about you know how far off Pine Island you are, um, ways to get here. Obviously, a lot of people have personal boats, but there's you know if, if people can reach this from Sanibel, Captiva. There's shuttle boats available and so on. Yeah, we're about in the middle. Uh, it's about seven miles from Captiva to here, and about seven miles from Boca Grande to here. We're about five miles from uh, Pineland Marina, which is right next to the Tarpon Lodge or Sister Resort on uh, Pine Island. Uh, but you can get here uh, any number of ways. You, if you have your own boat, lucky enough to have your own boat, you come in your own boat, or you can take one of the tour boats or a water taxi, hire a guy to take you fishing for the day and get them to bring you here. So lots of ways you can there's get a, here. There's a lot of neat opportunities because there's also Kay Acosta State Park which you can uh, you can easily spend a day on that. So the uh, the amount of travels here is endless. Besides, I mean, I would I would I've fished all over you know the United States, Alaska, and uh, for species of fish, amount of fish, uh, trophy potential, it's it's right there at the top of the list. And the neat thing is you can kayak, you can hire guides. But uh, Ken, uh, before we close out, what do you offer? You've got, uh, you, people can actually stay right here on Cabbage Key. Yeah, you can either stay with us at our facility on Pine Island, or you can stay out here on Cabbage Key. Uh, we have eight cottages, six rental rooms, and dog space for folks that can stay overnight in their boat. So, um, wow, nice. Got a lot of accommodations for them to stay right here on the island with us. But Ken, I have to ask you, Mary, we need to take a shot of the water tower because that's the Peregrine Falcon sitting up here. Mary, pan over and take a little shot of the... Uh, so the water tower is still in use and it was built, was it built in the 30s, 40s, Ken? Yeah, that was built uh, when they built everything in the late 30s. Uh, completions for the water tower somewhere between 1937 and 1939. And uh, 
And that's how they got their water, and that's how we get our water still today. So, Ken, how can uh, people reach you to uh, reserve a cabin and get more information about Cabbage Key? Well, you can go to our website, cabbagekey.com, or reach us at our phone number, 239-283-2278. Before, now we were we were teasing Ken. Well, yes, get a shot of those drinks, but because you, you got to have a couple of those when you're in Florida, and it it is, it is May. We should mention that, and May is prime time for tarpon. May and June, and so that's why we decided to come a little bit later this year. But uh, we were teasing Ken. We don't edit any videos, so Ken, I think we did a fantastic job on the video. <laughs> Thanks right. once again. We'll see you next year and maybe the year after. Sounds great, guys. Thank you. Hey, Terry, Mary with Ultimate Outdoors Radio. We are back to Tarpon Lodge. Uh, this evening, and uh, we are going to go out and we'll have some videos uh, fishing tarpon, fishing some reds tomorrow, and then we're going to mop up back in Fort Myers on the beach for a night. And I guess I would call it the perfect trip. So uh, make sure you stay with us and follow all our videos.